Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's weekend and I'm trying out something with a different reaction. If you're just here to see today's reaction, which is the one from a mania from 2023, check out the timestamp and skip forward because right now I'm going to talk about my daily life. Well, well, well. If you have subscribed this channel, you probably think like, oh, another reaction, another Eurovision video. Why, LJ? Can you not do something else? In the survey, the people voted to do some, yeah, content in Sweden, travel content. Well, I will definitely bring you that content when I have the chance to produce it. But there, unfortunately, there is no chance yet to do so I need the ability to move around in Sweden. And of course, I also work full time, so there is no chance of doing so right now, at least during the weekdays. But more on these topics in the future, they will be coming. But today, what has happened? Well, I am right here. Oh, look, there's a train coming right now. I don't know how bright it is. Oh, pfft, okay. <laughs> there is a train coming, just trust me. <laughs> It always looks nice when the train is passing by. But I am actually here right now to show you the biggest thing that happened in this apartment. Well, first of all, you can see it already there. I have a gloving dryer. If you're wondering like, okay, what did you use before? Well, actually I didn't have anything before. So I was putting my wet cloth on chairs or like on the big areas around the the radiators close to the window on the couch it worked it's of course not the most convenient but now i have one perfect right okay but the other big thing is basically because it's so warm now outside and summer has arrived i need to open windows and if i just open the windows there would be a lot of insects in here like i'm telling you there are, there are actually many many bumblebees i think they live somewhere in the walls <laughs> But if I would just open that window, the whole bumblebee family would just live in here. And then, of course, you have a lot of mosquitoes. We are still in Sweden. We are close to water. So, yeah, we just don't want that. And the big problem is basically the windows move to the outside. So in Germany, you always put like a net on there and you open the window to the inside. So the net can always stay there. Here, however, if you have it outside, there is no chance of doing so, right? Like, or am I just stupid? But however, you basically have like this fence thing, that thing that you can just take off when you want to close the window. However, this is just so inconvenient. It's the first time now that I have put these nets on here and I really want to see how much inconvenient they really are. But for now, it just feels like, oh. So I have one in the kitchen, one in my um, bedroom, but I don't think I will do that there that often because even though I love to sleep with fresh air, I cannot fall asleep when it's noisy and we have so many birds here that are just noisy at 4 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning and when I also have the sound of them go through the window, nah, 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 that's, that's not good. So. I might think like I will keep the one in the kitchen and then also the one I have at the door for the balcony. So those are the biggest changes in my apartment for now. Besides that, nothing really happened. And on Saturdays, usually not so much happens um, due to the fact that I cannot move around fully. I was at the grocery store, did some laundry, as you saw. <sighs> yeah, and now I'm going to talk to a friend of mine who I have not talked to in at least a month. So that's going to be nice, but enough said for here. Let's go into today's reaction of Armenia. Let's see what you think and yeah, more on that right now. Okay guys, so now I will be reacting to the Armenian performance from the Eurovision Song Contest 2023. It was Brunette with the song Future Lover. I have placed this song last year on number 5 based on all the songs that were yeah, in the grand final. And this song, however, was for me, in my memory, 
the most emotional song. I loved the build up. I loved the stage performance. However, I have not listened to the song for at least eight, nine months. And I have it in my Spotify playlist, but I just never had any chance to connect with this song again. So with this video, basically, I want to try out how my reaction is to the last year's songs, because I have also read that, that some people are complaining that this year's songs were not as good as the ones from last year. And so I want to see if that is right or if it's just maybe the memory of most people. And yeah, I will do that with the one that yeah stuck most with me, Armenia. And if you're interested in seeing any other reaction from last year's performances, Write that down in the comments. I think I will do one or two more of the songs that I liked last year. Especially Norway, Finland and also Israel from last year. However, I'm also interested in checking out other songs from the artists from last year. So if you are interested in seeing anything from these performers, let me know in the comments. But now I have talked already way too much. Let's just enjoy Future Lover one more time. Drink smoothies at near cafes. I really like the yeah the staging, how nice it looks. I really like the build up back then and I also like the build up now. And this is a rap part that I really liked. It's giving so much for the build up. It kind of reminds me of the rap part of the Ukraine from 2024, just that it is of course in English. And it's so, cr like, I really think it looks so awesome that she's standing on this, yeah, not even surface. And that it has like an LED screen in it. And that's the best one. Oh no, oh yeah, I forgot about that. There's the dance break. Actually, I have to tell you, I really don't understand why there's a dance break in this song. Because it doesn't need it. The rap part and then this awesome chorus is really good already. It's nice to have, but it's not needed. But now... Oh. Also the chorus in the back, like the whoa. And now the Armenian. I don't really know the text anymore, I'm sorry guys. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. That was Brunette, Future Lover. Well, how does this song feel now after my memory? Well, the song feels way more grounded and it really gives me more of this feeling like this is so close to Ukraine this year. But it's nothing bad. Like, it's really, really awesome. It doesn't really hit too much on the emotional side, but also it's not just like you listen through it and you don't enjoy it. And especially this build up is just, like this rap part is really, really fitting in this song. I just feel like the dance break takes away a bit from the build-up. It just feels like it's extending the span to reach this chorus one more time. But also the Armenian in the end. Oh, 
great, great song from Brunette. I really think I should check out other songs of her that are similar to this. But that was my reaction to the song. What do you think? Do you want to see more of those old songs? Feel free to write down your opinion in the comments. It's like a date but I got some other better plans. I wanna scream and shout. My heart cut in chains, cold heart cut hands. Fire my veins, fire my veins. Heart in chains, I'm a volcano that is going to explode in a sack. I'm so hypnotized with someone that I've never ever met. I wanna forget, am I dreaming yet? Poetic dream, I don't want it to end. Three minutes of making impossible plans. Seven minutes of unnecessary panic attacks. Here I go with the coldest hands. Here I go with still no plans. Oh, still no plans. I can't cool it off, no, I can't really Legs. Look, what I'm gonna do with my pinches attacks I still have the coldest stance Oh my lord, my lord, my pain, my panic attacks oh. I desire to be good, do good, do good I desire to be good, do good, do good I desire to be good, do good, do good I desire to be good, do good, do good That was totally necessary for me to include this in a video. I love this rap part. I rapped it all the time and now yeah watching this react and being not capable of singing along rapping along i just wanted to give you this at the end but i hope you enjoyed today's reaction if so feel free to write down any other great song that i should react to and we are going to see each other back in tomorrow's video probably actually with another song from prunette i have found a song that sounds interesting i just like listened to like five ten seconds and i was like oh that also sounds interesting so we will see us there but as i already said if you're interested in any other eurovision 2023 song include this in the comments but now have a good one bye bye <laughs>